Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we're getting it all in Super Onion Boy 2. Now, this was developed by Power Slash Studios, published by Rattalika Games, and it's usually available for £4.99. So this is pretty standard in terms of previous platformers. You get to the other side of the level, don't die, but this time you get some powers as a fat onion looking boy, which is always funny. You see? I don't... Uh, yeah. I didn't even realise there was a first onion boy, to be honest, but there we go. Anyway, achievements and trophies wise, it's very simple again. We've got a few story related ones for turning into certain things, a mage, ninja, etc. But the main one we're going for is collecting 40 stars. Now, there are five on each level, so we only have to uh, play the first eight levels, providing you grab every star in each level to finish it off. Uh, you also get checkpoints in the level, so if you die, you don't have to start back at the beginning, which is always nice. One more thing, now I'm not sure if the small Chungus boy here is supposed to represent being an onion, or if he's eaten too much onions, although you probably crap your insides out half to death, if that was the case. Uh, either way, <laughs> let's go uck up some carrots and stuff. Uh, it's an easy 20 minutes to get this done, so let's go ahead and do this tang. So, press the play button, let's obviously sp uh, start with the first level, since that's all we can do anyway. Right. <clears throat> You'll get this small, short little cutscene. So we are just Chungus Malungus Onion Boy, and then I don't know what the hell that's supposed to represent. Like a bit of sweet corn, a bit of ass corn. I don't, I, I really don't know. <clears throat> but still, uh, I don't know what's flying. I don't know why they're taking carrot. Or what's? I, I, I can honestly tell you, I got no idea what's going on. But the guys over at Power Slash Studios must have had a few uh, glug glugs before making this one. Right, so anyway, easy, um, so obviously it's the A button to jump, left stick to move, press up on the D-pad to get some of these treasure chests. Now you can jump on the enemies to kill them, that's no problem. Um, now when you jump on an enemy, like so, just hold the A button there to jump a little bit higher. So, uh, there's the first star then, so again we're collecting four st five stars in each level. Always make sure to go for these um, purple or blue chests, whatever they are, because you turn into something. Obviously, this time we are turning into a ninja. Press the X button to shoot. Job done. And you can double jump with the A button. So there's the second star there, just on top of the big platform at the top. So make sure to grab that. Now, you can actually jump on the rolling ball and send the other way. <laughs> Very much like, um, what's that little, uh, what's that little plumber guy with the moustache? Um, yeah, you know. You know exactly what I'm talking about. This is not a knockoff of Mario at all. Honestly. Right, so collect the two chests there. That is the checkpoint. So now if we die, um, which is quite rarity, you might die a couple of times. But if you, if you do die, you can just start from the halfway in the level. Jump down into the water here to go and get, grab the third star. And again, just watch out for these enemies. Because if an enemy hits you two or three times, you go back to your fat, chungus, onion-looking self. And that's not what anybody wants. Uh, so you can go ahead, just grab another potion. So, obviously, if you did get hit a few times, you can just go back. Uh, you can turn into another ninja. We're going to go underneath right here. So, again, shoot these and then press up to go inside. And there is going to be our fourth star. The coins do not matter at all. You don't. There's no achievement for collecting any coins or whatever. So, don't uh, feel compelled to uh, collect every single coin. Ah, you just hit me square on the bows. Cheers for that. Onion head. That one hurt. So... We've got, now got four stars, there's a fifth star, and now this is the end of the level. So that's the end of the first level. Now, the, for the majority of stars, they are basically just in your way, but this, there may be some that you will miss, uh, because it'll be high up or, you know, something like that. So, again, just be wary, but <clears throat> now let us go on to the second non-Super Mario level, of course. Oh, oh my god, you got fudged up, man. Uh, so every time you do die, you lose a life, which you see in the top left-hand corner there. So we've got six at the minute. Um, so obviously just try not to die six times. It should be fine, but there we go. So there is the first uh, star. Just jump over these. You can literally avoid most of the enemies anyway. They are literally non-Super Mario efficient. The second star is right here. Now I've missed that the first two times actually. But the, the platform that we were on there, that is where the second star is. Now, if we just open up this chest, kill these guys, and we turn into a mage, and there is the checkpoint. So we should have now two stars, and as soon as we jump up here, boing, the third star is going to be to our left, so make sure to grab that. 
Now we can jump up on the platform. Shoot. I suppose they're supposed to be beetroots or something. I got no idea. I, no idea what's going on. But, um, yeah, still, it's an easy 1,000, so we're not complaining. Right, you can already see the fourth one there, so just try and avoid the enemies if you can. You know, try and do it exactly like I didn't do, which was be quite moronic and get my ass beat. I got my ass beat by, again, that's, is that supposed to be Diglett or something from Pokemon? I don't know. Anyway, there's the four star there on the left. Now we can just move on to the right. Jumpity jump, get over Beetroot Head and over whatever the hell that's meant to be. And the fifth star's right there just before we end the level. So for the stars to count, you do actually have to complete the level. So if you do end up going to level 9, you'll just have to grab however many stars you're missing, uh, but complete the level. So just to let you know there. So we're into Green Forest 3, which definitely doesn't sound like a Sonic level at all as well. They've literally just grabbed everything from every um, Nintendo popular game and shoved it into one game. Well, you can't beat it. So open up this chest. Now we're going to turn into Fat Magic Onion Magic Bubble. But what you can do, if you hold the A button, <coughs> jump and hold the A button, as you can see, you can start floating across. So make sure to grab the first star, and then grab the second star. There's the beetroots, the beetroot kings of life, carrots, and... I don't... This would be a kid's worst nightmare, because all kids hate vegetables for some reason. Kids are just angry. So jump in the water here, and then go through this little tunnel anyway. And you can grab some of the coins if you want. Again, it makes no difference, but going through to the next one, that is where the third star is. Nice and easy. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm sure whoever made this game must have gone, well, my toddler hates carrots and stuff, so let's turn them into enemies, just to, just to piss off my toddler a little bit more. Eh, <laughs> why not? Why, you're, well, we're parents, we, we're allowed to embarrass our kids. Right, open up this treasure chest, and it's just another magic bubble one, so make sure to grab the fourth star, jumping across there. And I get my ass beat again, but I'm still all bubbled up, which is nice. Another chest there. The only ones that are in those red chests, by the way, are hearts and coins. So you don't actually have to um, get those ones. Because as you can see, I got my ass beat again. Jump a beetroot noggin. And then that's the fifth star. And you'll always know when you've collected the last star. Because you get an extra life. And you don't see the stars in the top left-hand corner. Right, there's the next level done. So this one, I mean, it's not, it's not a totally awful game. But, I mean, it's pretty... Yeah, it's pretty standard and generic, isn't it? Right, so we're on Crab's Island now. So, <laughs> if you've ever caught crabs, this is exactly what they look like down your genitalia. Grab the first star... <laughs> Ooh, sorry. Grab the first star anyway, which was just on the platform to the left of us there. And just carry on. Mr. Crabs, I like money. There we go. Second star right there as well. So make sure to grab that on the way. Jump down. Right, you'll have to be careful with this bit because these uh, little jellyfish things can come out and make your life hell. You should automatically collect the third star. So just take your time. No need to rush with this bit because obviously if you go in the water, you die, drown, and die again. Which, and I tell you what, this fat little guy, he doesn't look like he can swim or hold his breath for very long. Right, now we've got invincibility mode. As long as you uh, open up that treasure chest, so do that. And now we can basically just run for it. We've got three stars. There's the fourth one to jump up. Get rid of those crabs, and there's the fifth star, and that's that one done. <clears throat> so congratulations, you you cured your crabs uh, pretty quickly, which I'll tell you what you're going to need to do. You don't want them uh, roaming around in places where they don't need to be. Oh, wait, we're still on Crab's Island. All right, well, let's get this one done quick. Right, first star immediately jumping off the platform there. Now we can push the box. You can just push it by pushing it. Don't have to press anything. Jump up. Again, you can get the treasure chest if you want, but the heart is literally for if you've been hit in this level. That's uh, that's all that is. Grab the second star there, and watch out for this. The fire actually keeps going and bouncing towards you, so always be careful of that one. Um, jump on these jellyfish again. Take your time, because if you die, you'll have to start from the beginning again. And collect the third star, and open up the treasure chest. Now you turn into the funniest-looking, chungus, malungus, biggest mage you'll ever see. It's hilarious. But I suppose it makes it easier to shoot crabs with. Now oh, that's a good one, so you don't even have to go to the doctors. Just shoot yourself down below and then the crabs will go away. Maybe a bit painful though, so just, uh, you know, just be wary on that one. Right, grab the fourth star immediately there as we come out. Again, make sure to try and avoid the fire because it's a bit of a... <laughs> those crabs, which can really give you some fiery, uh, <laughs> somethings. They hurt. They hurt. Right. 
There we go, so I've just got my ass beat by this goddamn red piece of crap crab. But luckily, we have we are now turning into a magic bubble boy, so that's fine. So jump up, hold the A button, of course, to jump and glide across ever so snidely. Snidely is not a word, but apparently it is now. There you go, jump across again, and there's going to be the fifth star coming up shortly. There it is, just on top of the platform here. So grab that, and that is the next set of five stars, and the levels end. <coughs> and again... Now, this, again, does not resemble uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, the ending right there, honestly. <sighs> Maybe it does. Right, Crab Island 3. So now it's time to get rid of the crabs once and for all. I don't know why a boy this young has got crabs. What's what's going on? <laughs> what part of the world are we in? <laughs> I would say one, but uh, somebody's going to get awfully offended and annoyed. And I just can't afford it. Right, so try <laughs> grab the first star there, and then jump across... Bam! Straight on one crabs, onto the other. Oh man, gliding heaven. And now from here, we can actually press down to enter into the pipe. Exactly not like Mario. Exactly not like Mario. <laughs> so, um, there are a couple of stars, but the majority of the stars are here, which is why we're going down here. There's the second one. Again, just glide across, make sure not to spike your bun sacks on. Though again, if you do want to get rid of crabs, of course, spiking may be the way to go. Who knows? I've never tried it myself, I've never had uh, crabs, only to eat. Right, there's the third star, make sure to be careful so you don't pop your ball, <laughs> pop your bubble. And try and avoid obviously the fish and the fire, stupid fire crabs. And there's the checkpoint, so again, if you die, uh, you can just come back here, which will be beautiful. Avoid Am's fisheronies, and the fourth star is going to be right here in front of us, so we'll grab that. And again, you can interact with the chest again if you want, but it's always the same, so... Near bother, near panics again there, brah. And when we get here, we go badoing, and we're up. Right, go to the left of us, and that's where the next star is. That is that for this level. Now, <clears throat> this is boss time level. But it is very easy. All you got to do is just hold the X button and go for the big one. Now, he does come towards you, so just be careful. Jump on him, and then just keep attacking him. Do not worry about the small other jellyfish. And it is it, it literally is as easy as that. As long as you just focus all your shooting at the boss, uh, he will be done in like, literally 10, 20 seconds, something like that. <clears throat> right, so now we are on to level 7. We've got a couple more achievements there, of course. I'd be surprised if a rat like a game didn't give us uh, achievements like this. Well, in fact, they did, didn't they? Forgotten Hill. Which is why there weren't that many guys out for it, because you actually had to work for it. Uh, <laughs> just joking. I'm just joking, everyone. Um, I'm being a dick. I'm sorry. Uh, right, so first star there, just up on that platform, so grab, go ahead and grab that. Um, now we've got these angry little locust-looking things. Hey, where's Gears of War? Hey, Gears of War. Come fight these locusts, man. Marcus Phoenix, although I suppose everyone's old and dead by now, aren't they? So, uh, nah, screw him. Right, keep jumping across. Carefully jump across there with the locusts. We are up, up to two stars, of course, already. There's the checkpoint. Jump across the old um, non-Mario style pipes. Because of course this is a game in its own right. So uh, uh, just shoot everything that you can. We, we do just um, avoid that one there because we just turn into a mage again. Make sure to grab the third star here as we float across the platform. Shoot a couple of these locusts because again they can make your life hell. And shove you off and you just don't need to die. It's just it's a bit of an inconvenience dying. Make sure to grab the fourth star there as we jump across again. And now we can jump on the ball, jump it, um, click on it again, gets rid of a load of enemies for us. Again, don't know, I can't tell you where they got that idea from, who knows? Jump across the right platform, and now we can just grab the fifth one, and go ahead and finish Am's level. There we go, see? You've missed games, you've missed games like this, haven't you? You've missed it. Right, <clears throat> we are now on to the final level, and again, it's only for collecting the five stars. If you did, oh... Got my ass beat by a little diglet looking thing. Um, again, like I said, if you don't end up getting the five stars on all those levels, you can just play level nine. It's pretty much easy as well. But here's the first star. Jumping up on the bounce pad. And that is where the first star is. Jump up. Um, I do go ahead and get this chest. I don't know why I do, because it's just full of coins and stuff we don't need. But now we can jump up. Shoot this guy dead. And there is the second star. And jump across. Now we're onto the platform. See, it's just. and it's simple. As a fat onion boy, I agree. 
All right, so jump again, keep going, open up this chest. I do open up this chest because we do turn into ninja, which we do actually need this time. So shoot these bricks and then bounce on the bounce pad up and collect all the coins if you want. But the third star is there, so make sure to grab that before heading down. Now just slowly, <laughs> slowly glide down. I tell you what, mine is a fat onion boy. He's a lot faster and a lot fitter than me. I'd be knackered doing all the jumping. Right, there's the fourth star just before you um, went onto the next platform. Kill Lamb's carrot. Um, almost died, so try not to die. Wood, it does come in handy. Again, dying is a major inconvenience. Um, again, collect this chest if you want. Pretty much no need, though. I'm going to uh, skip the orange ball sack right there. Don't need that. But here is the fifth. Again, watch out for the beetroot coming to the Mario pipe. There's the fifth star. And that is the end of that one. So, there we go. Simple as Eating cheese and then sticking it up your nostrils for whatever reason. I don't know why you do that, but that is that anyway. So, so thanks so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the game. Hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Uh, don't forget to check me out on my socials as well. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon as well. And a big, huge shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and girls are legendarious. Goddamn, I love you. But I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Ba 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 be the love.